animal eye prints. First of all, start off with your paper and begin. There's an idea sheet that'll help you as you get started. It'll give three examples of different eyes that you can do. I wanted it to be symmetrical, so I folded my drawing paper in half so it gave me an idea about where the center was and I didn't have to worry about it. This paper eventually will get thrown away, but it allows me to make any changes before I put it into my styrofoam printing plate. As I begin drawing, I'm just going to sketch out to the very best of my ability, making a symmetrically designed um, set of eyes that I can use for my printmaking. I'm going to speed up the drawing quite a bit now so that you can see the rest of the steps to this project. This part does take time because this is the part creating your print that should take the most time. Once I've got my design drawn in pencil, I'm going to place my drawing and place it together with a piece of tape. Masking tape might work better than this white clear tape because it'll peel off a little bit easier. Now the purpose of transferring it into the foam is I'm going to take my drawing right now and redraw it or trace it. I'm tracing it so thick that it goes into the styrofoam. So everything that's drawn in pencil is going to get drawn over a second time. Again I sped it up so that we could find out what to do next. Once you've drawn it in pencil, I want you to place it and redraw it again a third time so that your styrofoam print shows up really well. So I just wanted to show a little quick step and now I'm going to go ahead and make those designs thicker. You can see areas that I'm, I have gone over with my pencil and areas that I have not. It should leave a little pencil mark inside your styrofoam. This ensures better prints. Now that you've got really nice deep lines into your styrofoam, I started taking some of the white paint um, and started plying it onto my printing foam. I sped this up, but again, be patient with yourself and get your, um, your print plate filled with ink. Using a towel or the back of your hand, spread that paint evenly throughout the black paper. I want to ensure a good print, so I really want to focus in on the edges. I turned the machine off and made a few extras. Now my job is to find my favorite one. I'm going to trim it down so that my paper can be framed to another sheet of paper so that I've got my print onto my background paper and my background paper gets another piece of paper to create a frame. Place it into the center of the paper and glue that down. Take a moment and put your name right on the front side so we know who it belongs to. I'll do it one more time. Once my paper's been shortened or um, made smaller, I'll place it onto a framed piece of construction paper. Again, place my name on it and set that aside so it can finish drying. I love working with these prints. Happy art making!